Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from RoboJax. In this video, we are going to learn how we can use the pulse modulation controller module that is controlling the motor speed with the knob. We are going to modify it and see how we can control the motor with Arduino. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. In many robotics and mechatronic applications, you need to control the speed of motor either with a knob from Arduino or based on some parameters uh, through the command of Arduino. I have another video explaining this module fully with all the details and components and uh, data sheet. In this video, we are going to modify it to see how we can control it with Arduino. The module is based on uh, IC555 timer, the NE555 or 555 timer and it uh, generates pulse modulation from a knob or a potentiometer or actually the pulse modulation signal is fed to the gate of the MOSFET that controls the speed of motor. We are, go we are going to disconnect the path of signal from the triple five IC to the MOSFET and, and we'll solder a wire so we can connect it directly to Arduino and inject the pulse modulation signal from Arduino to the module so we can control it. In my other video, I've explained this module to control a DC motor with pulse modulation. This is based on triple five, NE triple five timer IC. We're going to modify this so we can control the motor uh, with Arduino. Let's have a look at this module first. This is based on triple five uh, timer NE555. And this is the main MOSFET that is being driven. And the signal from this goes to the gate of that and that's the gate pin. Here, this is a diagram. Pin three is the output here. And also it shows here pin three on the block diagram. That's the output. Pin one, two, three. Pin three is the output. Pin three has been connected here to this resistor. There is from this side there is hundred ohm resistor, and then we have a ten kilo ohm resistor. This is one zero four ten kilo ohm resistor to the ground. From the middle it's connected to the gate. So the signal is coming to this resistor. If we cut this point then the, this resistor will not receive signal from here and we will connect it to Arduino. I'm using this cut it. And now even the power is connected. The motor is not being controlled because I cut that. The MOSFET at the output stage. Uh, this is IRL7833. The gate, this is the drain and this is the source. Source is connected to the ground and then gate is getting the signal which is also connected to the ground by 10 kilo ohm resistor. So I'm gonna uh, solder the wire at this point. Here is a data sheet for this 7833. This is the one that we are uh, going to connect. I'm gonna solder it at this point. And remember this one can handle continuously up to 99 ampere if there is a heat sink. So with current heat sink, device can easily handle 10 ampere, no problem. And here the pins have been mentioned here, one, two, three, four. One is gate, two is drain, three is source, and four is drain. So two and four is drain. This is not connected. One and three, so this is the gate. The other one on this side is a shot key rectifier at the output stage, so we are not going to touch that. And the shot key rectifier is 
1045 you see two with two pen these are anode and that this side is cathode this is connected to the ground I've connected one wire the black wire to the ground and this is the gate I've connected a red wire that this will be connected to password modulation from Arduino the two wire on this side will be connected to the motor this is my motor I put it in this housing that holds it for me and these two are for the power supply they have been labeled as power minus and power plus the two wires that I've connected here on the module the red one from the gate is connected to pin 5 and from the source or ground is connected to the ground of Arduino at this point here and here I've used the potentiometer the right one is connected to 5 volts of Arduino the left one is connected to the ground this is connected to the ground and the middle one which is very important to be connected to analog zero or any analog pin that you choose if you connect the middle one to positive or negative to the ground you will burn the potentiometer so it is connected to analog zero now I'm rotating this to the left this, this module is based on 7833 MOSFET and incorrectly it has been named as DC 6 volt, 12 volt, 24, 28, 3 ampere password modulation. So this is the term that you want to search and you wanna, if you want to see it on Amazon or eBay, I've provided a search link so you can find the module easily. We are defining password modulation pin 1. Uh, we are using pin 5 so this will generate password modulation and we are defining a control pin if you want to use uh, potentiometer or variable resistor analog zero will be for that purpose inside the setup we use this pen using pen mode as an output we initially serial monitor the 9600 bot to print the information if you need and inside the loop we use analog read and reading the control pin which is analog zero and the result will be stored in part value or potentiometer value as a type integer and we print it on the screen in case if you need to know what is the value even though you don't need it and then we use map get that value this value and map it which is from 0 to 1023 we map it between 0 to 255 these are the value that is outputted from uh, the device 0 means 0% zero and 255 means 100% and the calculated value is stored in a variable called p WM and we use analog write password modulation pin 1 and we pass this password modulation this is as if I type 5 which is pin 5 and type here whatever value let's say 255 would be maximum speed and the motor will start running and this is just empty space and then the password modulation that we are sending will be printed and we give it 500 millisecond and the loop will continuously uh, ca uh, check the potentiometer and control the output um, in practical application you won't use uh, the potentiometer because if uh, the potentiometer were needed why we have to modify it and use Arduino perhaps you will control it other ways and here is a function that I want if you want to control it in terms of value of 255 replace this password modulation with any value that you want let's say 180 that's 180 out of 255 but because 180 is not easily understandable in terms of percent of speed I've written this function so this can convert it for example you put the percent this 5 means 5% 5 of the speed 100 means 100% so you put the percent and it goes to password modulation function here that 5 for example when you send it it will be here using the map which is from 0 to 100 it will be mapped between 0 to 255 and the whole value will be returned back so this will give you converted version of 255 uh, of 5% and comment this once you uncomment this this will be out of question because possible modulation will replace whatever value it has and we send the value so the motor can be controlled with whatever percent you want you want 60% just type 60% of speed of a motor and the motor will run and you can 
control it with uh, whatever means you have from any function or sensor or whatever, you can control your motor. And now let me show you, I'm connecting it to the power. Now there is power, the module has power. Arduino has power, except this one is now at the minimum. So if I, if I rotate it, you see, you, if I rotate it slowly. you see this light depends on the pulse rate modulation signal when the signal comes from Arduino it lights up and here I'm eliminating the potentiometer all these lines and we will send directly to PMW and commenting this out and this way you can enter the percent directly 80% means get 80% and the result of this will be our positive modulation which we send to analog uh, right to the pin 5 now because we are we're using this one the PM is the positive modulation will be replaced by this so these are all of them include analog they are, they are useless Now I'm connecting it, uploading the code. There is no power yet. So I have to hold it and connect the power. Now it's 80%. I just changed it to 10%, 50, upload it. Now 100%. Five percent. Now this is running with five percent of Arduino. So you got the idea that uh, if you do not want to use a potentiometer, here you can connect it directly to this, and it will the motor will be controlled by pulse width modulation, whatever value. But remember, this is percent because uh, I don't want you to remember uh, between zero to two fifty-five where is. 10% where is 20%. You just enter the percent and that's it. I would like to sincerely thank the following people who have supported me via Patreon. Thank you for watching. This was how to modify this positive modulation control module and use it with Arduino. If you found this useful and learned something, please thumb up as this will help the video in the algorithm of search. If you have comment or question, post it in the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. If you want to get updates of my upcoming videos, you may subscribe now.